Hello freedom lovers from all over the world and happy Easter to all of you. These are strange times that require odd circumstances to make this event happen. I am talking to you from my humble home in Germany in the middle of a pandemic in a global lockdown. And this sounds almost dystopian. But, and this is the message that I want to focus on today, this does not mean that we have to give up hope and that we have to fear for our freedom. We are free as long as we stay true to ourselves and we protect our minds from the biggest virus of all, irrational panic. Freedom starts with you and your courage to speak up in the face of injustice and misinformation. Make no mistake, this virus is dangerous. The social distancing protocol ought to be followed and to violate such guidelines is an act of disrespect, not just to yourself, but especially to others. But freedom is not to be equated with carelessness. Freedom implies the duty to act responsibly. If we disregard moral principles in a free society, harm will come our way even without the coercion by law. Let us be teachers to one another instead of dictators. Make the responsible choice to wear protective gear and to avoid social gatherings. Your freedom is still in your hands. We don't learn from restrictions and mandatory policies. We only learn to fear the consequences of legal punishment. But fear and panic incentivize us to believe our leaders, dictators, blindly. The corona panic demic and climate alarmism as well are both examples of terror causing the spread of misinformation. Unnecessary hyperbole skews our perception of the real situation. We can't afford to let cherry-picked data and false statistics impact our perception of reality and distract us from the real issues. We can't afford to neglect victims of other diseases and tragedies. Therefore, we need to fight for a flow of free information and a power balance between all sides of any debate. One-sided pseudo-arguments are poisonous to our society and to our freedom. Don't let a big government and self-proclaimed experts rule your understanding of the world. We can be environmentally friendly, health conscious and pro-human to help each other build a better world for ourselves and others. And we do not have to sacrifice our freedom to achieve that goal. Kindness and compassion do not have to be enforced. That is the anti-humanist essence of the global socialist ideology, but we do not subscribe to such anti-humanism. Don't underestimate our free will to be gracious and grateful. Let me emphasize this again. To cherish freedom means to inspire hope in humanity. And that, I think, is exactly what we need in times like these and forever. Happy and especially healthy Easter to everybody. And the main thing that I want you to remember is I do not want you to panic. I want you to think.